Hey what's good everyone and welcome back to yet another video and this will be the first video in my new office. I kind of built this office to edit my videos and also film some of talking like we're doing now. But anyways, let's just get right into it. On the 18th of January 2020, about a week ago or something like that, Niklas Wallner, which is a Swedish filmmaker, released a 30 minute long documentary film about uh, the Swedish biking scene and how it's built up and how we got to where we are all the riders and uh, how we've helped each other out. If you miss watching this documentary film, a uh, link will be in the description. It's called Connection The Movie, so you can type it in also on the YouTube search. But Niklas sent me and all the other riders their own segments the other day and I thought it would be suiting to put it up on my channel. So I'll put up my segment, which is a skate park segment. Uh, I think I never would have made it this far as I've had without skate parks. So I thought it would be pretty suiting for me to uh, have a little bit of a skate park segment in there. So me and Niklas filmed it over two days. And uh, then also the second one, which is the most meaningful segment in my opinion, is combined with me and Martin together. Um, we're talking a little bit about how uh, Martin have paved the way for us younger riders in Sweden and he pretty much uh, showed everyone that it's possible to make it into the big scene and be a professional rider and have it as a job and occupation. So uh, it ha Martin is one of the biggest reasons in my whole career that I am where I am today and uh, I love that guy deeply so I thought it would be nice to show it for you guys as well. So I'm gonna play the both segments now and then you get a bit of a better vibe and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Max Fredriksson, what a, what a guy. I mean, there's no words. So impressed being like my little tail follow me around, ending up being second place in the Freeride Mountain Bike World Tour. What made me fall in love with the riding is probably, I saw some older kids in the playground when I was, I don't even know, I was very, very young. And I saw them doing no footers on a hill and I was like, I wanna do that. And then <laughs> the, everything just escalated and built on, built on throughout the years. And then Martin have set a good path, I'd say. Uh, a lot of kids in Sweden do realize that you don't need the best facilities in the world to accomplish something great in the sport. But I think the mental side of things is a huge thing. And uh, also just the bike control from racetracks and skate parks is, yeah. So I would say that in the parks, in the som who have created the whole Swedish style that we have, För mig har det varit extremt viktigt just med den här inomhushallen för vi kan liksom klocka in här när vi vill på dygnet, göra vårt jobb och liksom bara verkligen köra ner huvudet i marken och träna så mycket som vi vill utan att bli störda av någon. Och eftersom att det är så teknisk åkning så får man så extremt mycket cykelkontroll så det är ja, extremt viktigt för hela cykelsverige. Jag var lite yngre där precis när jag kom upp i proffsscenen och sådär och då var jag här liksom från att de stängde, de stänger vid åtta på kvällen och sen så ibland kan man ju sluta med att man var hemma vid två på natten, tre på natten. Men det är, jag försökte alltid tajma in så man kommer hit när de stänger så man kan få hela parken för sig själv så man kan utnyttja tiden så bra som möjligt. Och det är ganska tur att man har, det, har haft det så bra också att man kan liksom ha tillgång till att träna hårt och ostört liksom.
Okay. <laughs> I mean, Martin is obviously like the biggest thing that ever happened to Swedish mountain biking. I don't care about the Olympic medals here. I think he's still like the biggest uh, thing we've had on the international mountain bike scene ever. I'm just so happy about how everything have uh, happened in Sweden, how I managed to have my breakthrough and then Anton came and then Max came and then Emil came and then Alanko came and Dohan and it's just such a strong scene here in Sweden and especially that I don't feel like obviously we're all competitive but we're all good friends and we can ride together and I feel like that's what I'm most happy about that I've been able to kind of shape the scene into sticking together and helping each other instead of being too competitive so we like basically don't help each other out. Martin pretty much taught me everything I know today and uh, he took me under his wing when he realized that I really really wanted like becoming a pro rider. It built a pretty good relationship between us and uh, yeah, we trained every day and then we're sharing our experiences with each other and learning tricks together all the time. It's actually, it's actually super lucky that you don't have a no dig no ride sign because I, I, I don't think I've touched a shovel at this place. <laughs> This is like the first, the first little bit of effort that I put in. As soon as the camera comes out. Exactly. Everyone is like, oh, Martin's such a cool guy, watering the jumps. <laughs> oh, no. I'm always late, showing up late when everything is finished, and then just casing the jumps, and then leaving. For as far as I can remember, when me and Max have been riding, we've always been pushing each other. It doesn't matter if we're just out on the street or uh, riding jumps or in the skate park. I always kind of push my, my level of riding. And uh, even though I'm getting older and don't push myself that hard, I still really, really enjoy riding with Max every time because uh, yeah, he finds that competitive side in, <laughs> inside of me. And uh, yeah, he just helped me to push, push myself and I hope that I can help him to push a little bit as well still. So about the first time I met Martin was 2007 I think at um, event in uh, Stockholm actually and uh, I remember one of the kids were saying like look at that Martin Sörström is the best rider in, in Sweden and uh, yeah I went up to him and asked him for a high five and I got it. <laughs> Yeah.
well, that was the segments from me and uh, together with Martin on the last one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, they have a, a great meaning for me, so that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. It's not just about the writing in this, it's more about telling a story and uh, sharing a bit of uh, our life with you guys. So I hope you guys loved it. Big shout out to Niklas Waller for making this. It's as a passion project, you're the man. And uh, I don't think ever, anyone else would have pulled it off as good as you did, because you know us writers so good. So you're the only one that can kind of tell our story, you know? Thank you, Niklas, a lot for that, and hope you guys like this video as well. I'll be back in two days with a normal video, and it's a heavy one. I went to war in the next one. But yeah, subscribe, like, and comment, and all that, and then I'll see you back in two days. Peace.